Hello, welcome to Tactability. I'm Farage and we have two monsters of smartphones here with the Galaxy Mega 6.3 right here and the Galaxy Note 2 right here. So these two phones are currently out in the market. Obviously the uh, Note 3 was just announced, 5.7 inch display, you know, leather stitching, backplate, etc. But we wanted to go ahead and emphasize the Note 2 and the Mega right here because the Mega is coming to AT&T very soon. All right, so first thing first, you got a 5.5 inch display here, 6.3 inch display here. Over here you have a quad-core Exynos processor at 1.7 gigahertz. You have two gigs of RAM. Over here you have a dual-core 1.7 gigahertz Snapdragon 400 CPU with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. And of course, both devices are sporting gorgeous 720p displays, or at least uh, the Mega 6.3 is. Uh, the Note 2 uh, has about, I think, roughly about 250, 260 pixels per inch, give or take. The Mega has about 230, so both displays are the same in that uh, light, or similar in that light, but there is a difference. Uh, this is Super AMOLED, this is LCD. So if we were to just go and unlock the device, you can see the lock screens are the same because they're both running TouchWiz. I know you can see in terms of hardware, uh, you got the, the Mega 6.3, which looks like the Galaxy S4 in many ways. You have the volume rocker, you have the power button, you have the obviously the USB port, you have the 3.5mm uh, headphone jack, and the kicker, which is the IR blaster. You can see the back, you have the 8 megapixel camera, 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. The Note 3, you have the front facing camera, the 8 megapixel rear camera with flash, 3.5mm headphone jack, micro USB port, power button, volume rockers, and all the other proximity sensors on the front. Uh, of course, the bells and whistles. Now, the Note 3 came out when the S3 was released, so it's more or less an uh, evolution of the S3, whereas the Mega is more or less an evolution of the S4. I think the Mega looks more like the S4 than the Note 3 does, which is interesting. But in any case, the Mega is thinner. It's seven or it's eight millimeters in thickness. It's a little bit thinner than the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, it's actually a little bit thicker than the, no uh, the S4, which is 7.9 millimeters, but not by much. But you could see right here, if I was to just lift them up, show you guys in terms of their all right it's a little bit thinner it's a little bit more square too again it looks more like the s4 whereas the note 2 is a little bit more like the s3 because it wasn't that generation all right now other than hardware let's go ahead and look at the cameras on both and you guys are interested in what the camera uh, technology camera quality here is let me show you guys a cool feature with the mega okay so here's the front facing camera right over here you have the Smile, smile, smile. Right, you can see the front camera here on both, or the rear camera here on both. Quality wise, both very solid, 8 megapixel. All right, you have various different features such as continuous shot. And let me just go ahead and show you guys here when you click on mode. You have auto, you have sports, panorama, etc. Continuous shots right here. So you know what continuous shot is if you just hold the takes a bunch of pictures. All right, with the Note 2, of course, you have the settings right here. Uh, you can see the various different settings that you have. Uh, you have video mode, etc. Now you also have ways to uh, edit the video, the pictures and photos here through the various filters. You have sepia, black, white, negative, cartoony, etc. All right, now if I was to actually go into the image, you can see how this is here. Let's go, just go to the image here. See the software on both is very similar. You have the sharing options up here, which third-party apps do sync with and integrate with. All right, you have uh, edit options here on the Mega by just clicking right there. Over here, if you click menu, uh, you have various different options here. Crop, rotate left, rotate right, photo frame, etc. All right, so you can see you have effects here, various different effects, color effects, effects, etc. All right, so I could go ahead and swipe over. I could pinch in, pinch out. Okay, and you can obviously just delete the photo by doing that. Now I want to X out of here. Delete it, that's pretty much that. Now if I want to go home, let's see which one goes home faster. Okay, so about almost equal on that end. All right, so other than that, you have obviously the folders on TouchWiz, which are similar on both devices. Again, they're both on 4.2.2 with the TouchWiz. Now, obviously, you can't take uh, apps here and uh, drag them into other apps to create folders. It just doesn't work on TouchWiz, but there is a difference with uh, the Note 2 as opposed to the Mega, and that's the S Pen. S Pen works on the Note 2, obviously. Okay. You can Use it as you so please. You have various different notes, apps, keeps, and whatnot. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and add a note here. All right, let's see. Note color, etc. Right, so let's go home. Now, this doesn't work with 
the Mega because it doesn't have the same oleoscopic coating that the Note utilizes for the S Pen. So S Pen is something that a lot of people like, but it's not available on the Mega. Now, features that are available on the Mega that aren't available on the Note 2 are Air View. You can see Air View right here. Okay, I'm not touching the screen. Oops, I actually need to touch the screen. You can see how that works. You can see the picture quality here on the Mega on the 6.3 LCD display. Absolutely gorgeous. Picture quality here on the Note 2 Super AMOLED display. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Both have very vibrant colors that basically pop out at you. So both are beautiful in that sense. All right, you could see in terms of bezels that the Note 2 has a little bit more bezel than the Mega 6.3. All right, that's a hardware issue we're not going to get into. Now, other apps such as the browser are, are fairly different. You can see the browser here on TouchWiz. You can see how the tabs look here. You can see how the tabs look here on the Mega. So with the Mega, I could just swipe it over over here. You actually have to push that little um, minus to get rid of the app. Let's go ahead and open a tab here, open a tab here. All right, so you can see how this looks. Pinch zoom, All right, fairly smooth. Okay, both are uh, very solid WebKit browsers. Let's exit out. If I hold the home button here on the Note 2, you get multitasking. Hold it here, you get multitasking as well. As well. Now you swipe them away one by one, or you could just click this button right here and it closes them all out. Same here, click that button, you close them all out. Okay, so you can see keyboards for both. Obviously, the keyboard on the Mega is bigger, but they're both similar. All right, so you could type on both. The typing on the Mega is absolutely easy because the screen is so big. Not too. All right, so similar, both big displays. We can exit out of that. Okay, now let's go ahead and open and close apps and see which one uh, opens and closes apps a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and start with settings. Okay, you can see how settings opened up there. All right, let's go ahead and open messaging again. Okay, see messaging. Let's open the calendars. 